Brock Lesnar is looking to further his unmatched legacy of the only man to hold championships in the NCAA, WWE, IWGP in Japan, and the UFC. Man, this card is just packed with so many great matches. Oh, man. And this one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. Brock Lesnar still enters every match as the odds-on favorite. Yeah, I would never predict a Lesnar loss, Saxton, because you can enter Suplex City, but you will never come out the same. There was a lot of force behind that one. Close line. When I look at Brock Lesnar, guys, even all these years later, one of the first things that comes to mind is that he is the man responsible for ending the Undertaker's historic WrestleMania undefeated streak after 21 consecutive victories. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. Looks like he's starting to tire. Guys, he's going to have to turn things around quickly if he wants to win this thing. Lesnar did indeed end the dead man's WrestleMania undefeated streak, as Michael was saying. It was perhaps the most shocking event in WrestleMania history. Over 75,000 fans in attendance, all shocked in silence. Well, get over it, Saxton, because all good... Lesnar drives him down, but Coley's not finished. No, not at all. Lesnar again with the power. Another power bomb. That has got to be it. Absolutely punishing. I think it goes without saying, but Byron, the keeper, any Brock Lesnar opponent is to avoid a trip to Suplex City. Uh, yeah, that's easier said than done, Michael. Big or small, Lesnar has set everybody he's been in the ring with to Suplex City. Right. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Byron brings up a good point about Suplex City. Lesnar has been able to suplex superstars of all sizes, including the massive Big Show. You're absolutely right, Cole. Nobody's immune to Suplex City. And for me, my favorite part is watching Paul Heyman count along with each and every suplex. The great ones always explode when they have the chance. Big time slam. Vicious. It's quite the accomplishment to win a championship at WrestleMania and carry Lesnar. Can... Suplex City! But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Byron brought up Brock Lesnar's Universal Championship dominance in back-to-back -back WrestleManias. Yet go back 30 years for similar circumstances at the showcase of the Immortals. Yeah, but even though both Randy Savage and Hulk Hogan won WWE Championships at WrestleMania and held the title until next year's show, both men were dethroned after one year on top. Brock's the only person in WrestleMania history to ever win the title one year, hold it all 12 months, and then retain it. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Some might say that it wasn't a wise move for this superstar to step inside the ring with an injury, but I don't know. It's not like it's a major injury or anything. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to him. Looking at it a second time. German after German by Brock. That should do it.
He wants no part of the outside. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. And there's his speed paying off. Boom, what impact! And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. Hard to argue Michael's point on volatility and the volatility of this match. But what I think oftentimes gets overlooked is the mental anguish that goes along with competing in a match like this. Oh, boo-hoo. Cry me a river, Saxton. These competitors knew exactly what they were getting themselves into when they chose this profession. When Brock is feeling it, good luck to you. Oh, what a slam! That hurt! Lightning fast reflexes. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. When it comes to matches like this, I'd say the more innovative a superstar is when it shoulders on the back. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. Wow, I thought this was over. Now he's working that exploit. As Byron mentioned, innovation certainly is a key to a match like this. A competitor can't be adverse to taking action outside the ring. Oh. Game, set, match. This one is over. He's looking shaky. This could be the end. Oof. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. He's a man among boys right now. When this guy's on, look out. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, boy, he is rolling. German after German by Brock. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Jeez, it feels like I have the same song on my playlist on repeat. one might be over guys yeah and this is why take a look if i was brock i would quit messing around with people's minds and start messing with his opponent's body instead like this has become synonymous with SmackDown over the years. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Harsh impact. Warm up the bus. This one is over. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. When Brock is feeling it, good luck to you. have so much resolve, it's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. Goes down hard. Scoop slam.
The tension, the drama, this is electric. I don't know about you guys, but when Brock Lesnar left WWE back in 2004, I assumed we'd never see him again. But I was wrong, and I couldn't be happier that I was. I knew he'd be back. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Byron, you mentioned Lesnar's extended leave from WWE in 2004, which was at the height of his WWE career, just months removed from being WWE. We have seen him here before. That's what he was looking for, Michael. say watching this match I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. Brock Lesnar just too fast for him. Lightning speed from the beast. When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the 2016 Reign Styles match. Though for me, the biggest story of that night came after the match. I'd agree with that for sure. Absolutely nobody thought they'd see Seth Rollins on that. Brock moves in. This could be it. Here we go. Take a look at this again. Yeah, that was nice. This is it. An incredible win for Brock Lesnar.